Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Sir. It's your girl, Candace. And this is another episode of 2020 Reviews. We're going to be doing Black and Blue today. Uh, okay, about 2019 yeah. cop drama uh, featuring Naomi Harris, uh, Tyrese Gibson, and a few other people that we'll get to in that time. But in the meantime, before we go any farther, let me just go ahead and shout out. You know what I'm no, saying? Black not. Benny. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Black Renaissance clothing. So I'm going to include the link in the description below. Make sure you go and give them your money. You know, they, they do an awesome job. Excellent turnaround time. Yes. I love their work. This is like, I was telling you, this is like my third or fourth shirt. Yeah, it's like, like my I, second or third, too. They I got, got one colors, too. designs. Because I do it for the coach. Yep. You know I see what you did uh, there. You know what I'm saying? We'll plug the, you'll see. You'll I see. do it for the coach. All right. But going back to the movie. Mm-hmm. This is a cop drama featuring yeah. a young lady named Alicia. Yeah. Or is it Atlas? It's Alicia. 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 Okay. Uh, Alicia, she's uh, from Lafayette. And she's a police officer, and uh, she's mm-hmm. going by the regular day. She's kind of a noob. Uh, I think she said it was like her fourth week or so yeah. working the force. Um, and she's coming to try and help her neighborhood. And yeah, because she, she, she had left and came back. Yeah, she she's a veteran. Right. You know what I'm saying? So she's she in the went, military or whatever. Yeah, and she comes back to, you know, just try and help her neighborhood because she wants to, believes in making a difference. And stuff pops off. Uh, corruption gets exposed. People get shot. She learned friends ain't friends. Man, or friends look, ain't who they pretend to be. Look, there, there's evil on both sides of the law. Let's just put it like that. Mm. Um, she sees an incident, um, and to prevent herself from being a witness, she's uh, shot, and okay. she has to escape from the police who are cro- crooked, which she can't tell who's who at the point. Yeah, she's shot, but at the time she's still wearing. She's currently wearing a body cam. For yes. y'all that don't know, she witnesses a murder uh, right. done by a crooked policeman. Well, the crooked policeman, I think their name was Smitty, also known as Bia Knapp. Um, James Moses, who goes as Brown. Yeah, Brown the Black Guy. Um, yeah. And Frank Grillo, known as Terry. Terry uh, Malone, which is the head honcho of it. Right. And the thing about these cops, they're not just new cops. They've been there they for vets. a minute. They're vets. Um, and they've been doing this for quite a while because they're working with the local gangs and distributing product and... Yeah, a murder happened. Just like you've seen on the trailer, a murder happens. Her body cam is on. She's not supposed to be there. And they're going after her. And it is basically her trying to clear her name and survive the streets because they put a hit out on her. Right. To the and local the hit game. man, the hit man goes, I think that's Michael Coulter, who's yes. also known as um, uh, Black Lightning. One yeah, of the Black no, Lightning no, no. characters. Um, not Black Lightning. Uh, Luke, Luke, Luke Cage. Luke, Luke Cage. My bad. Um, my bad. Yeah, he, he plays... Yeah, uh, he goes by Darius. In yes, his. Darius and... Uh, he top-notch drug dealer for y'all that don't know. Yeah, and King that's King. that's my problem <laughs> with him. I didn't believe him. I just didn't feel yeah, him. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't convey it all the way. No, bro. No, listen, I was telling Kendra this. My problem with this movie is that it doesn't feel authentic. It it's in, it happens... It's, she's from Lafayette, but it happens in New Orleans. And there's not a trace of a New Orleans accent. Nowhere. No, baby, don't do that. None of it. None of it. And I, you know, we round the corner from New Orleans, so we we know what it sounds like. Got that southern twang too. Right. There was no southern twang in this movie whatsoever, and it just took me out of it because I'm like, yeah, I know what it should sound like, but it doesn't sound like it. And Michael Coulter didn't portray a imposing drug lord to me. I just didn't. I, I didn't buy into it. Now, Naomi, though, as an officer in dis- distress, uh, seeking her friend Tyrese Gibson to kind of try and help her. Yeah, because okay. I felt that. So, um, Tyrese is like a friend. Mm-hmm. No, Tyrese is a friend of hers, but her, her friend, friend her uh, Missy, Missy, right. is that's Tyrese's cousin. Right. Missy. So it's like her name is uh, Nevessa Williams. Nevessa? I'm, I'm murdering her name, but I'm sorry. I'm, yeah. Yeah, it look below. You're going to know who I'm talking about. It's a picture of her right Yeah. Now. But, um,. <laughs> But no, she kind of made me mad too, cause I'm like, I guess things that it really made me think, and you put things in perspective, like you grow up as childhood friends. And granted, I know we all change, but mm-hmm. I don't expect you to switch up on me. But then again, I guess you know when you win that badge, you're not repping us no more. I guess that's what sense. they felt. Um, yeah. They she she pulled up. She went loyal to them no more. Right. She pulled up with a partner at a local convenience store. Yeah. Tyrese partner owns. name for y'all that don't know her partner name is uh, Kevin. He yeah. his real name is uh, Reed Scott, but his character name is Kevin. So her and Kevin pull yeah. up at the little Seven Eleven where Tyrese works, and um, she's trying to reconnect with the community. And her partner is like, mm, 
it's not the community that you remember. You've been gone, you right. know. And so she sees the gang affiliated folks, and she sees our old homegirl over there, and they Missy. look at each other, Missy. And she sees this kid who's playing with a skateboard. That's Missy's kid at that. Right. So she just approached him just to have conversation, ask him about the skateboard, and even he's live. aggressive. He he's like, I ain't steal it, and she's like, I never said you stole it. She was like, I'm just seeing if you're good with it. And then that's when Missy approached her and was like, why are you hassling my son? Typical, typical, typical. Yeah, and it's just that divide occurs and it carries over throughout the movie. And I enjoyed what we got of that story, but I feel like we didn't get enough of that story. I don't feel like we got enough either because as, as much as... It didn't answer what happened. No, it don't answer what happened. And then on top of that, I kind of thought Miles... Well, Miles and Alicia was going to get together, and that ain't even happening. Right. Tyrese and, and Naomi have, like, these romantic moments. But nothing in the comes middle of, of this it, stuff. Though. Yeah. And it, it don't make no sense. It, but this movie, I, I get where it was going. You can't give a title like Black and Blue and you don't fulfill it, I would right, say. Right. Yeah, I love this movie. It was like, oh, that's it? Like, what happens is... She eventually clears her name ah. somehow. No, I'm just saying somehow. And the ending is like... Don't spoil it for the people. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just saying the ending, you're going to be like, oh, that's it? Like, I literally, like, hung around thinking think there'd be something extra, and it wasn't. So, cliffhanger. it might have been a better movie. It might have been who edited the movie. Did it leave you like a cliffhanger? No. It Did just it made me feel... No, nah, it made me feel like <laughs> that was no. the ending. It was like, that was no. the ending y'all chose? And I was so like, you okay. Wanted more. Yes. I, I wanted more resolution. I wanted something to actually come of it. Because right. I get you. Maybe one day we'll talk more about it, but just to discuss it for now, I'm not gonna get into it. If you holler at me, I'll let you know what I really think about it. You don't think you did that today? I okay. mean as far as like breaking it down, oh. spoiling it and everything. Oh, okay. I got some stuff with that story. You had a lot to say right there. Oh, man, I'm, just I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help it. Do but it, it, it made me feel like I hate to say this. I was telling you early, it felt like a knockoff training day. It did. Wah, 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 so, wah. check it out if you ain't got nothing else to do, but don't buy it. <laughs> don't buy it. It ain't. Don't tell them I ain't, I'm just saying, save your money, bro. Don't. Save your money. People it, it do ain't what that. you want to do with your money. I just wouldn't pay for it. That's just his opinion, and yeah. we're all entitled to that. Right. I just wouldn't. Mm -mm. Mm. I know Dion mm -hmm. Taylor probably fit in some kind of way to hear you say that. Hey, I'm sorry, That's Dion. That's a director for y'all. Dion, long. fire your editor, because whoever cut up this movie was, didn't do a good job. I feel like there was a lot missing. Way to a speak lot. on how you feel. You know what, where are we going to stop while he, while he going ahead? It's, it's your girl, Kendra. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> we out. <Movie> Peace. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whoa! I can't. I got to be honest, man. I got to be honest.